Let's review what we learned today in Excel 101. We learned how to enter data into a spreadsheet. We learned how to edit that data, both in the sheet and in the formula bar. We learned about some basic formatting, changing our foreground and background colors, for example. We learned some basic math, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. We reviewed the order of operations. We learned about some functions, sum, average, max, min, and count. We learned about cut, copy, and paste, and how Excel will automatically update our formulas from row to row or column to column when we copy and paste them. We learned about autofill, a quick way to copy and paste across multiple rows or columns. We learned how to save and then load up our workbook again. And we learned how to print our spreadsheets. Now it's time to take the test. Log on to our website at 599cd.com slash test and take your skills check. If you pass the skills check, you'll be able to print out your certificate of completion for this course. What's next? Next, we recommend our Microsoft Excel 102 class. We'll go more into editing data. We'll talk about page setup, how to set up headers and footers with page numbers. We'll do some charting and graphing. We'll do some bar charts and pie charts and donut charts and eclair charts. And oh, Just kidding about the eclair charts, but there are actually pie and donut charts. We'll show you how to use cell borders. We'll go into some data sorting techniques to show you how to sort your information in your spreadsheet. We'll do some advanced tricks with autofill. We're going to actually build a calendar using autofill. And personally, I use Excel to do my calendar for my training schedules for my classroom. There are some advanced calendar programs out there. I find that Excel beats them all. We'll also show you some advanced cell formatting techniques. So that's Microsoft Excel 102. Plus, as a reminder, if you haven't already watched Microsoft Word 101, we strongly recommend it. Even if you don't plan on using Word, a lot of the stuff that we cover, like cut, copy, and paste, we go into in more detail in our Word class because we assume that people have watched the Word class before this Excel class. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this class. If you have any questions, you can email them to support at myolp.com or support at 599cd.com. This will conclude Excel 101, Introduction to Microsoft Excel. This lesson is copyright 2002 by Amicron Computing, all rights reserved. This video may not be reproduced, copied, edited, or otherwise distributed without the express written permission of Amicron Computing.